everyone, my name is Rachel. I was a postgraduate student here at Cardiff. Today I'm going to show you our buildings on the Cattays Park campus and tell you a bit about my time here. To start off with, behind me we have our main building. This is a Grade 2 listed historical building central to other university facilities. It's the home to our School of Chemistry and our School of Earth and Environmental Sciences. It hosts a number of chemistry labs and teaching facilities, including computer suites, and is also home to the Science Library. Opposite main building, we've got Alexandra Gardens, which are in the middle of Cardiff Civic Centre. You'll often find students spending time here. I used to come here in the nice weather to do some reading or some studying and just enjoy the peaceful atmosphere. Up next, we have our Glamorgan building, which is one of my favourite buildings on campus. It's the home of the School of Social Sciences and the School of Geography and Planning. It hosts a council chamber, committee rooms, seminar rooms and lecture theatres. As part of my degree, in one of my classes, we had two guest speakers come in to chat with us. These talks were held in the impressive council chamber and this was one of the highlights of my degree. Next to Glamorgan, we have our Butte building, which behind the scaffolding is another one of our Grade 2 listed buildings. This is the home to the Welsh School of Architecture, which is one of the top five architecture schools in the UK. Butte hosts the Architecture Library and various facilities, including a digital fabrication lab. Whilst Cardiff has all the perks of being a capital city, it is still small, compact and easy to get around on foot or by bike. It is just a couple of minutes walk to the city centre, but Cardiff also benefits from next bike facilities. As a Cardiff University student, you can get the first half hour of your journey for free. Up next, we have our Redwood building, which is the home of the School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences, which was ranked the joint top school of pharmacy in the country in the most recent research excellence framework. The building houses six state-of-the-art consultation rooms, and there's lots of interesting research going on in here, including our PharmaBees project. Just across from the Redwood building, we have our School of Music, which is ranked in the top 10 in the UK. As you can expect from a capital city, Cardiff has a great music scene and is home to the Welsh National Opera and the BBC National Orchestra of Wales. Here we have our Arts and Social Studies Library. This was my main library. It's where I took most of my books out and where I spent most of my time on campus getting work done. Next to the Arts and Social Studies Library, we have the John Percival Building. This is the home of the School of History, Archaeology and Religion, the School of English, Communication and Philosophy and the School of Welsh. I had some of my classes and seminars in this building and I'd often come here to grab some lunch in the large cafe on the bottom floor, which is a really popular spot with students. The next two buildings are part of Cardiff Business School, which was ranked joint first in the UK for research environment. Here we have the Postgraduate Teaching Centre. This has Wales's largest trading floor, which gives students the skills required ready for life on the stock exchange. We also have the Aberconway Building. This houses the Aberconway Library, which is entirely dedicated to business disciplines and has over 60,000 books. Adjacent to Cardiff Business School, we have the Mainty Road Development. Behind me is Kubrick, the Cardiff University Brain Research Imaging Centre, which is part of the School of Psychology. The building was opened by the Queen in 2016 and is home to some of the best neuroimaging equipment in the world. Next door we have Hayden Ellis, a research hub which brings together experts in schizophrenia, Alzheimer's disease and cancer stem cell research for the first time. Next door to Hayden Ellis we have our School of Optometry and Vision Sciences which was ranked joint first in the UK for research environment. The school houses a £22 million dedicated optometry facility with a built-in eye clinic. Further down Mainty Road, we are also constructing our Social Science Research Park and Innovation Centre. The tower building you see behind me is the home of the School of Psychology, which is one of the UK's largest centres for psychology and neuroscience. The school is ranked in the top five in the UK and in the top 50 worldwide. Next to the tower building, we have the School of Law and Politics. I did my Masters in International Relations, so this was my home school. There's lots of seminar rooms and lecture theatres, as well as a mock courtroom for law students. This is where I had the majority of my classes, and I also spent quite a lot of time in the dedicated postgraduate study area. Opposite the School of Law and Politics on Park Place, we also have the School of Modern Languages, which has teaching expertise in a wide range of languages. As a postgraduate student here, you can also benefit from the university's Languages for All programme, which allows students from any course to learn a new language or improve an existing one for free alongside your studies. 
The Sir Martin Evans Building is the home of our School of Biosciences, which is ranked in the top five in the UK and top 30 worldwide. In recent years, there's been extensive refurbishment of lab space and investment in state-of-the-art equipment. Our brand new centre for student life is currently under construction and is due to be completed in 2021. It's going to have lots of brand new facilities, including social study spaces, quiet contemplation spaces and a 550 seat auditorium. It's also going to be the new home of our student support services, including our advice and money, disability and dyslexia and counselling and wellbeing teams. The centre is being delivered in partnership with the Students' Union, which is one of the top four in the UK. The Union is a great place to study and socialise and has pretty much everything that you would need as a student. The Union is also the home of the Job Shop, which can help students find part-time work alongside their studies. I'm now at the back of the Students' Union, where you can see a number of the shops and services available to you as a student, including Cardiff Student Letting, which is the Union's own letting agency. Further down the road, behind me, there is a new building under construction. This is going to be the new home of the School of Mathematics and the School of Computer Science and Informatics and is due for completion in 2021. I'm now at the Queen's Buildings and the Trevithick Building in the city centre. Together, these buildings are the home of the School of Engineering, the School of Physics and Astronomy and the School of Computer Science and Informatics. The Queen's Buildings host a wide range of facilities and labs that allow students to gain experience with a wide variety of experimental methods and equipment. I'm now at our School of Journalism, Media and Culture, which is ranked in the top five in the UK and top 25 globally. The school moved to this brand new building in 2018, which is right in the city centre next to Cardiff Central train station. The building is also situated right in the heart of Cardiff's media community, next door to the new BBC studios. The building has seminar rooms, lecture theatres, TV and radio studios, six newsrooms, library space and postgraduate research space. 